I am back with a monthly favourites. I'm sorry I missed May's monthly favourites, but I was going to do May, but I thought, you know what, it's almost July now, so I might as well just do June. So I'm doing May and June together, so there's quite a lot of stuff that I want to show you. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. I would love to have you on the channel again. I upload twice a week, so please hit that subscribe button and also the little bell right next to it so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Today, guys because it's really hot in London so yeah let me know what you guys think of me and my hair up I mean technically I love hair up loads but I never think it looks good on me like, um I I'm always imagine it's gonna look a certain way and then it never does so yeah let me know what you think of me with my hair up in the comments below I would love to know um, anyway let's get started with monthly favorites so we're gonna start with skincare and the first product I'm gonna talk about is this Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Charcoal Mask. I got this mask in boots before I went on holiday and I tried it on before I went on holiday. My skin was looking pretty rubbish. I haven't had a facial for ages. I tend to get a facial at least once every month and a half, maximum two months. But I tried to do them in Spain because I really like my facialist over there. Um, and it's been quite a few months, I haven't gone home. So I haven't had a facial for a long time. If you do know any good salons in London who do great facials, let me know in the comments below. I would love to try one out here. Um, but I've had a few bad experiences, so I'm like, I was kind of put off and I haven't tried many since. But this was really, really good. I get a lot of blackheads on my nose because I do have very large pores and I do have very oily skin and I wear quite a lot of makeup. So I do get quite black, bad? Bad blackheads around my nose and around here and a little bit on my chin. So I really wanted something that was going to kind of clear out the gunk and this I have to say did not clear everything out but my skin looked a lot better. It is impossible to clear out all your blackheads if you have a lot because you just need to actually manually squeeze them out. Um, but other than that, it was really good. I felt it left my skin looking very clean, but at the same time, it didn't strip my skin completely because a lot of these masks, which are like charcoal masks, which kind of pull out all the impurities in your skin, leave your skin really, really, really dehydrated. And I actually tend to break out later if that happens. So this one was a good kind of cleansing, but at the same time, not too dehydrating a mask. I had so many good things about it that I was super excited to try it and yeah, you get quite a lot of product. It is expensive because it's from Clinique, but you get a lot of product and yeah, I really, really liked it. I need to leave it on for about 10 minutes and it says that it detoxifies your skin, absorbs oil, impurities, pollutants and the charcoal powder draws out the deep-seated debris to purify pores while a combination of natural mineral clay soaks up the excess oil. So it's beautiful for me. I don't use it all over my face. I only use it down my T-zone because that's where I get really oily and that's where I have most of my blackheads. But yeah, it worked really, really well. So I really enjoyed this one and I'm always up for a good cleansing mask. So I like this one a lot. On the topic of masks, I was in Sephora when I went to Milan. If you didn't know, I will link my blog and my Sephora haul round right about on the screen here so that you can see what I got but I got these two masks and they were both honestly amazing. I speak about them more in my Sephora haul because I'd already tried them out but I got this one which is the creamy night mask moisturizing and plumping mask with hyaluronic acid and the bubble mask detoxifying oxygenating mask with white tea and they were both so good. They're pretty affordable because they're from Sephora's own range this one is an overnight mask, as the name suggests, and it's a hydrating mask. You just pop on a thin layer, it comes on like a gel texture. Thin layer all over my face. It kind of dries up after a couple of minutes and it feels a little sticky, but it doesn't kind of stain your sheets or anything. It's a clear gel and it doesn't feel like you've actually got something on your face. It sort of dries up, just a little bit sticky if you touch it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good and it really hydrates your skin without making it oily. I have lots of dry patches around here. I put it on in the morning, they were all gone and mostly the plumping effect is incredible. I almost felt like I had fillers. It does kind of come down after a while, like I think by the afternoon it wasn't so plump anymore. But honestly, if you have an event, pop this on the night before because it just gives you such a huge plumping effect. Around my cheekbones, it was really noticeable, like they really did look very, very plumped. I almost felt like I had like a little bit of fillers put in. Um, so for any mature ladies out there, this is a great mask for you, or if you've got kind of very um, deep set under eye dark circles like I do, it's really, really good because it just plumps them out and 
yeah, I just, I just honestly love this mask. It's just so good. I've never seen a mask that had such an instant kind of very, very dramatic effect on my face. So I cannot rave about this one enough. And this one is super interesting. Um, I, again, talk more about it in my um, haul video, but basically it's a bubble mask. So it comes on like a clear gel, but within like one or two seconds, it just foams up and it looks like shaving foam. And you need to leave it on for just two minutes on your skin and then massage it on. You put it on damp skin. Um, and then you just massage it, it becomes like kind of a cream and then it just absorbs into your skin and you can just wash off the excess. It's super easy to apply and it honestly makes dull, sallow skin just come back to life. Like honestly, it's um, oxygenating and I could definitely tell the difference. My skin tends to get very kind of grey and sallow, especially when I don't go out in the sun for a few days or I haven't been good with my skincare routine, haven't applied my moisturiser and stuff. So. This one honestly makes such a difference. My skin just honestly instantly feels kind of back to life. So I really, really like this one and I can't rave about it enough. Moving on to makeup, another product I've been loving is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I know you're going to be like, where have you been? I've honestly taken so long to jump onto the bandwagon. I know so many people love this blush, but I have never tried it. So I decided to try it out now because I was actually going to get the NARS Orgasm Lipstick, but I didn't really love that one when I swatched it in store. Um, but I really, really love the blush. It's got a beautiful kind of peachy, golden colour to it. I've got it in the limited edition packaging, which is also quite nice. I hate the packaging because it gets really grubby, but I really, really like the blush because it just gives you a beautiful golden glow with a bit of a peachy undertone to it. It doesn't have too much pigment, so it looks super natural for summer. It's more of a glow than an actual real pigmented blush. I really, really like it. Really long lasting, blends in really well, super finely milled, very nice, and yeah, a really, really great one for the summer especially. I really like it on kind of tan skin. I think it looks really, really nice. Another favorite I wanna talk about is this Dark Circle Reducer. I think I've spoken about this one before, but I'm not sure. Um, it is honestly so good. It's from Mask Bar. You know I love their stuff. I've spoken about their masks endlessly. Um, but basically, these come in like a little sachet like this and you get two patches and they're sort of gel pads that you put underneath your eyes. I keep this in the fridge so that they're nice and cold. Um, and these ones are supposed to reduce your under eye circles. I think it has um, like glycerin and like loads of um, hydrating agents so it really leaves that area kind of plump and hydrated. And honestly, I have very, very, very dark under eye circles and not so much puffiness, more kind of under eye circles, like just darkness. Um, and honestly, this one, it doesn't eliminate them completely because that would just have to be a miracle. Like mine are genetic. Honestly, it's not because I don't get enough sleep. Um, but it does make a huge difference. And when I have an especially bad day, when I haven't slept enough because I naturally already have darkness, um, this just makes a huge difference. And they're great for when you have an event or something where you want your skin to look extra good. Um, it has um, sunflower seed oil and vitamins A and E, so it makes your area appear lighter, firmer, softer, and more elastic. Apparently that's what it says. I don't know if it feels more elastic or not, but it definitely looks firmer and brighter, and that's what matters to me. So I really, really like this one. And they're also quite well priced, these mask bar stuff, and they're all very, very good. So if you have the opportunity, pop into your local boots and check them out. Moving on to hair stuff, I wanted to talk about this shampoo which I have been using ever since I went to Italy. I actually purchased it when I was in Italy. I'm not sure if you can get it online, but I will try to find a link and leave it below because honestly, it is so good. I actually suffer from dermatitis on my scalp. I've got seborrheic dermatitis, which basically means that I've got kind of... Um, my skin on my scalp just becomes really, really flaky, very dry. If I scratch it, it starts bleeding because I literally kind of rip my skin off. Um, I do get that around my nose sometimes and around my ears as well, so it is a problem that I suffer from. When I'm stressed, when I'm tired, it tends to get worse. It kind of goes in cycles. I've got better months, worse months, and lately it's been really, really bad because I've been very stressed, a um, lot of work, very tired, hectic schedule, and it just got really, really bad. So um, I usually use the Nizoral shampoo, which is one that you can get in boots, and I've been using that for years. But when I went to Italy, I forgot to take it with me, and I needed something, so I popped into a local pharmacy and the pharmacist recommended this one, which is from a brand called Isden. I know you get this in Spain as well because I've purchased quite a lot of their stuff in Spain. Um, and this one is the Iral Faris shampoo and it's the Keratoregulating shampoo. 
And oh my god, if you suffer from this problem, this shampoo is amazing. Um, it has a very, very liquid formula. It's like a brown liquid. It doesn't even come off like a gel. It's literally like a liquid. Um, and you need very, very little, um, but you just apply it and you leave it on for a couple of seconds on your last wash. I always do two shampoos, so in my last one I leave it on for like a couple of minutes before I rinse it off. And honestly, it's gotten so much better. Like, it's gotten rid of my dermatitis. Obviously, if I don't use it for a long period of time, it comes back. But it honestly, it, it the itching is gone. It really clears out the skin, leaves it really fresh. My hair... When I have bad bouts of this with Niseroil, I always used to feel like my scalp was still itchy even after using the shampoo. It was better than before using it, but it was always still itchy. And with this one, the itchiness just disappears. It's just gone. It's really, really good. It says it's keratin-reducing, anti-itching, and soothing ingredients for maximum comfort. And honestly, it is so, so good. Like, if I can find a link below, I will um, link it down because I really cannot wait to get my hands on this again because it is so good. Um, and I just find it so soothing and basically I think it's because I produce too much keratin. I have that problem in my skin as well. Um, I've mentioned that I have kind of bumps at the back of my arm and that's also because of producing too much keratin. And that's the same problem on my scalp, which is why I have a very greasy, oily scalp. Um, and this just removes the grease, the oil, the, um, and it's obviously a, a clarifying shampoo, so it just leaves your hair super, super clean, removes all the product, and yeah, it's just really, really good. I'm moving back onto face masks because I forgot to mention this one, and it's the Lunasol mask. I got this when I was in Japan. Um, and um, yeah, it's a hydrating sheet mask and oh my god, I really, really like this. It's really nice, you pop it on, it only says that you need to leave it on for about three minutes, I think, or five minutes, and you need to be pressing it onto your skin for those three minutes, but I press it on for about three minutes and then I leave it on for about 20, just really letting the product penetrate in because it has a lot of serum, it's really, really damp, and it's a very, very thin mask, so you hardly feel like you've got anything on your skin. Um, but it's really good, very hydrating, but didn't break me out, didn't leave my skin oily, but just really, really hydrated, and I really, really like this. I'm not sure if you can get this here, I will try and link it below if I can find it, but if you're in Japan, guys, get your hands on this one, because it was really, really good. Moving back to hair care, um, I wanted to talk about this blue shampoo from Joico. I think I've mentioned it before, but honestly, it is so good, I'm still using this one. It is supposed to be a blue shampoo which just makes your color last longer. So for people like me who've got really dark hair and we lighten our hair um, and we have a lot of red pigment in our hair, it tends to go brassy really, really quickly. Um, so this one is specially designed for brunettes to stop your hair from going brassy and to make your color last longer. And I've spoken about this in my hair care routine video, which I will link on the screen now if you haven't seen it. But it's honestly so, so good. It just kind of makes your hair look not brassy, it just removes those red undertones. I just use it as my last shampoo. It doesn't clean a lot, to be fair. I just use it for the kind of effect it has on the color. So I clean my hair with the other shampoo I mentioned, and then I do a third shampoo with this one, leave it on for about five minutes, um, and then just rinse it out. If you don't want your hair to become too kind of hayish in color, too yellow, then don't leave it on for so long, just keep it on for like a minute and wash it out, or if you wash your hair very often, um, but it's honestly so good and it's making my colour last without getting brassy or warm much longer, so I really, really like this one. Moving on to accessories, I wanted to mention this beautiful earrings from J Rosé, which I got. They come in this box and basically they are, um, they were sent to me by the brand. Um, I didn't actually get them myself, but I, the brand sort of asked me to collaborate with me and they told me to choose from all their stuff online. And I choose those earrings and they are honestly so beautiful. I'm going to do a close-up now, but they are with a pearl. They're very, very good quality. They're made out of silver and yeah, I just really, really like these. I got sent a few things, but these were my absolute favorites. I love the sort of crystals on the top. And um, yeah, they're just so beautiful. I really, really like them. They look like they've got diamonds on the top. I think they're, um, they're zirconia, but they look so nice and I think they look so real. Like they actually look like they're diamonds. They're very good quality. They're silver with um, cubic zirconia. And yeah, I just really, really like them. And I think they're so nice and dainty. I love the sparkle on the top. I think that makes them kind of have a bit more oomph. Um, but the little pearl in white makes them kind of go with everything. You know I love pearl earrings. I'm always wearing them. So yeah, really nice ones, and they've got really, really nice jewellery, very dainty stuff that looks really, really good quality, so if you want to get their stuff, I will link their site down below. They retail through Amazon, they're a Spanish brand, but they've got really, really beautiful stuff, so I will pop the link down below so that you can check it out. 
Also in accessories, I got these sunglasses, which I will link, I showed them in my uh, fashion haul, link that video on screen now, but they are from a brand called For Art's Sake, I've never actually heard of this brand, um, but in Harvey Nichols they have a huge amount of sunglasses, and I've been looking for a funky pair of kind of very fashionable sunglasses for a while, um, and I couldn't really find any, I mean I really wanted to get a pair of the Dior, I think, um, the ones that everyone wears, the ones that are kind of with that bit on the top, and I really, really wanted to get those, but I just, I don't know, I mean, they just, just didn't suit my face. My face is already a bit sagging, and those kind of glasses that have sort of a downward shape, they just make my face look like it's sagging more, and they just didn't look very good on me. So I went to Harvey Nichols, and I was just kind of having a browse, and I happened to find these, and oh my god, I just instantly fell in love. They're very funky, you know that my style is usually very, very classic, you've seen my posts and stuff and you know I always go for very classic clothes, sunglasses, but I wanted something a little bit different. Um, and by the way, the packaging is stunning, they come in this box, um, which is really, really pretty, and then they come inside in here in a separate case, it's a leather case, very nice, and yeah, these are the sunglasses, they are super cool. I really, really love them. Tell me what you guys think. They're very big, but I don't know. I mean, I think they look bigger on camera than they do in real life, but oh my god, I just really love them. I've been wearing them non-stop since I got them. They've got like this blue and um, brown sort of marble effect up here. And then they've got ombre lenses which go from like a darker brown to a lighter brown, and then they've got the gold accent on the on the on the border and here on the bit on the side and yeah and then they've got the marble effect here at the back as well in blue and I just think they look super funky. Tell me what you guys think. I really like the shape. It's a bit of a cat eye which always looks good on me because it just feel like it lifts up your features. So anybody who's got a sagging face like me, bottom heavy, um, smaller on the top, heavier on the bottom, cat eye sunglasses always help because this bit on my face goes a little bit in. So the cat eye sort of helps balance out the shape and yeah, they're still squarish but they've got a bit of a cat eye and I think they look super cool. So let me know what you guys think. Finally for accessories, something I've been wearing non-stop is this scarf from Hermes. It is super beautiful, I've um, used it loads on the blog to shoot and everything and I love it. It's got sort of four colours. It comes with like an orange, a yellow, a pink and a purple. And I got this on Vestia Collective and I got it for a really good price. I actually got it for £100 when it retails for I think about £300 um, in, in the store. And I love that you can fold it and you can fold it in different ways so different colours show. And I just love it because I love wearing white in the summer and I feel this gives it such a pop of vibrant colour. Um, yeah, I've just been loving the scarf. I'm going to show you a cutaway now. Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. I love how it looks and I feel it gives any kind of boring outfit just that kind of oomph it needs. It's in silk, it's from Hermes. And yeah, I just love the vibrant colours. I think it's perfect for summer and it can make a really kind of plain boring outfit just look extra special and extra summery. So I think scarves are a great investment to kind of jazz up any kind of boring outfit. So it's a cheap and easy way to do it. So yeah, I really love this one. And finally, I wanted to mention these shoes from Aquazura that I got recently. I absolutely love them. I've worn them to death. I featured them in an unboxing video, so I will link that on the screen now so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, they're super comfortable. I love the fringe details here. They're super kind of aquazura. I love the gold um, detail here on the heel as well. They're flat, so they're very, very comfy. Perfect for the summer. They just slip on, super easy to kind of on and off. And yeah, and I never thought that red would go with so many things, but actually because my wardrobe is really neutral and it's not a kind of weird red, like it's a very true red um, and it's not too kind of jazzy, like it's a very neutral red. I mean, I don't know how to explain myself, but um, I really like the shade it has and I feel like it goes with most stuff, like even now I'm wearing blue and I think it goes quite nicely with my outfit. So because I have lots of neutral tones, I think they go really well and I've worn them so much. So that's it from me guys, I hope you enjoyed this favourite, it was quite long, there was a lot to go through, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what you've been loving in the months of May and June and thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and check out my social media, I'll leave all the links on the screen. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in my next video, bye!